Hi guys, Pat here with Pros DIY. Today we're just gonna do a quick response video to a question asked on our other video, how to replace a thermocouple on a water heater. In that video we change a thermocouple with a push fit connection. There's also a screw in style type and we'll go over both styles. Okay guys, first steps first is understanding which style of thermocouple mounting system you have. This is a push fit connection. So there's a push fit mounting style. Unfortunately, I don't have a screw in type with me uh, right now, but I will go over that and how to replace it and what to look for. I'm gonna to cut to our other video just to show how this push fitting is replaced and the thermocouple is removed and installed. Okay guys, now that you can change a push fit style thermocouple, we'll go on to the screw in style. I'm using this as demonstration purposes only as this is a push fit style. A, the first hole here on this side would be threaded, the second hole would not, and it would either use your thermocouple adapter, threaded one, or the nut on the end of the thermocouple, depending on the model of thermocouple that you purchased. Now this is where some of the confusion takes place with the screw-in style thermocouple. This is the older model, the Q40A series, and this is the newer model that you'll see, which is the Q90A series. So the Q40A series with the screw-in style, you will not need the push fit adapter, so that can be thrown out. This is the only adapter you'll need. This will get threaded in go from this angle, which is easier to see, is it gets threaded in from this side. Remember this is a push-in style, but if this is a threaded style, this would be threaded. This would go in, thread in, and it would stay put right there. Once it's installed, you would take your thermocouple and you just slide it through until it stops. Once it stops, you know it's secured in place and you're good to go. With the Q390A series, things are a little bit different. The thermocouple comes with the retaining nut already installed. It can't be removed. If you're using a push fitting pilot assembly, this nut would just float there and be not used. If you're using the screw in style, you would take your first fitting adapter. This has a flange on it. The flange goes towards the tip of the thermocouple, slides over top. Your push fit fitting is also flange. The flange meets flange. So you slide it over top, as far down as it'll go. Now it's locked in place. Now to install it on your pilot assembly, you'd simply push it through and tighten it down with the retaining nut. And if you look at the old style and the new style now, a, you pretty much built the exact same thing. Well guys, hopefully that clarified the question and we'll see you on the next video.